Welcome to Rebel DeFi, where I share videos that are categorically not financial advice about decentralized finance and NFTs built on Web3 technology. Before we get started, I'd just like to thank everyone who's supporting this channel by delegating to Orbital Command Community Validator. Next time you're staking some Luna, delegating to Orbital Command would be appreciated. It's really easy to find us in Terra Station. Then all you have to do is click the Delegate button and choose how much Luna you'd like to delegate. Every delegation helps support us as we produce educational content about Terra and other ecosystems in Cosmos. The topic of today's video is governance on Terra. I'm in Terra Station just now and you can see that there's two governance proposals up for voting. One for SCV and then one for the Nowhere Soil team. There's also this toggle which allows us to see all the proposals up for voting, sometimes the scam proposals are hidden by default. This one here is an obvious scam proposal and all the validators that have voted so far have voted no with veto, so this one is now definitely not going to pass. Just looking at this SCV proposal, we can see that majority of the votes are for yes, so it seems that this one will pass going into the soil proposal. At the moment it's not passing and the majority of the votes are for no or no with veto, quite a lot of abstains and some yeses as well. As we can see the majority of the validators haven't actually voted on this one yet. So ideally we'd see more participation in governance from both validators and from individuals as well. And in this video I want to talk about how we as community members on Terra can get involved with the governance process. Before proposals go up for voting, there's typically a governance proposal posted on agora.terra.money for discussion. So if there's ever a proposal that goes up for voting without a governance discussion on Agora, essentially that's odds on going to be a scam proposal. We can see here there's a bunch of different proposals on Agora, and this is where we can go in as community members and discuss these proposals. This one here caught my eye, changing the quorum from 10% up to 33.4%. Because then when we go and have a look on the vote itself, it's saying changing from 10% to 30%. So there seems to be a bit of a disconnect between the discussion and the actual vote. There's quite a detailed response from MB Ajir talking about why the proposal, in his opinion, is not a good idea and why it hasn't been drafted very effectively. The issues he highlights with this proposal itself are procedural in nature as well as the proposal itself. The aim of this video is to try and encourage more people to use Agora, so I definitely recommend going to read both the proposal and MB Ajir's comment. One of the issues I had with this proposal itself was that the proposal was posted and then two hours later it was up for voting on governance. So that was one of the procedural issues that I wasn't particularly happy with. So based on that and other issues as well that I've got with this proposal, I'm going to be voting no with veto. It's really easy to cast our own votes. We just go into the proposal and then click on vote and then we can choose our vote. I'm going to be voting no with veto because the supporting arguments for changing quorum I think are weak. I'd like to see the proposal redrafted with specific reasons why the quorum should be increased. To be able to post or comment on Agora, you've got to connect a Terra wallet to the website. It doesn't cost you anything to do that, and the wallet itself has to have at least five Luna in it. And I think the rationale for that is really just to keep out scammers and spammers. And then just like any web forum, you can just go in and leave a comment. Another website worth following, or a Twitter account worth following, to get updates on governance is this Terra Govern Governance Alerts channel, the at Terra underscore Agora account. Then there's all kind of alerts that are posted when votes are about to close, when new proposals or votes get posted, it also gives us an alert. And then when votes have finished, it tells us the result. 
by following this Twitter account, I know when I should then go to Agora to read full proposals. Another useful website is SmartStake. This is terra.smartstake.io. It has loads of information about the validators on Terra. I've put a different sort order on the Terra validator list and you can see the orbital command is number one here and we're number one by the amount of different Terra wallets, the unique delegates delegating to orbital command with over 11,000 separate wallets delegating to us. Once again, thanks for all the support. There's another really useful column here, governance participation. And this gives a score out of 10, and it's the number of votes out of the last 10 votes that each validator has participated in. You can see that some validators are really active, whereas there's others that don't really participate in governance at all. I'd suggest it's kind of important when you're choosing a validator to work out which way validators vote on certain issues. See if you agree with your validators' votes, and if you do agree, great, delegate to that validator. And if you don't agree, maybe search for a different validator that you might want to delegate to. You can also drill down into each validator to find out which way they voted on different proposals. We can see the orbital command vetoed that scam proposal. Going back to Terra Station, there's another way we can look at validator voting records, and that's by looking at all the validators that voted a particular way on a certain proposal. In this SCV proposal, we can see all the validators that voted yes, abstain, no, and so on. And you can do this for all proposals that might have passed or were rejected previously. One thing we try and do at Orbital Command is put out a tweet or a tweet thread talking about why we vote a particular way on each vote that's coming out. And I think it's reasonable for validators to justify their rationale publicly. Just to recap, I think it's important that all of us as community members, as Luna holders, are involved in governance on the chain. We're all stakeholders and we all want the chain to succeed, so it's important that we're all involved in choosing the direction that the chain takes. And we can do that through governance participation. Just to recap, we can do that through Terra Station in the governance section, on Agora, on the agora.terra.money website, by following the Terra underscore alerts account on Twitter. We can also get additional information from SmartStake, terra.smartstake.io. Hopefully you found this video useful. I look forward to seeing you discussing governance proposals on Agora. Thanks.